Hey everybody, this is Ash for the Triple S League with a guide on how to rob one of the black market shops in Dishonored 2. This is clipped from a longer video where I show you how to rob all the shops. The link is in the description below if you want to check that one out. For Mission 8, the Grand Palace, I'm going to start at the actual starting point for the mission because this is by far the most complicated setup as far as robbing the black market shop goes. There's a lot of different places you have to visit. So near the beginning, you'll find this boat um, moored nearby with these two guys uh, talking about how they're delivering supplies to the black market shop. You're going to have to come back here later, but for now, just head up this alleyway. Careful because there's a couple of guards at this intersection here. Deal with them as you choose. Come around this way into this alley, and um, there's some blood flies here, so you'll want to be careful. Up these stairs, turn left up at these stairs. Now, right across, you're right across the street from the Winslow safe shop. You want to head in here first, head around to the back corner of the shop, and you will find a note with the gate code written on it. You're going to need this code later. In this case, it's 773. It could be different on your playthrough. Keep that in mind. Pardon me while I clear the way here. Alright, head out of the safe shop, turn right, and head up this street. There's lots of guards, and there's also a guard tower that will shoot rockets at you. Be careful of that. You want to get onto this balcony, the one with the sort of target practice dummies here. You need to head into this little apartment and deal with these guards. You don't have to kill them. You could knock them out if you'd rather. But you need to eliminate these guards, and I'll explain why in a minute. So, exit the apartment, head back up this street. And now, you can head past the safe shop, and right next to it on this side is the gate that you got the code for. So, input the code. So, seven, seven, three, for me. Now, you're at the back door of the black market shop here. Grab the delivery boat key from that lady who's making the delivery. She, the, the shopkeeper's not letting, letting her in because she doesn't have the right passcode. Anyway, so grab that key and head back this way, back toward the boat. So you go all the way back here. These guys, they don't bother you too much. Just get on the boat, head over to the door on the back here, unlock it. Now you can go in and listen to this audiograph, which will give you the passcode you need to get out of the back of the store. Now I did that in a specific order for a reason. If you eliminate the guards in the apartment and then get the boat key, then the audiograph will be in the boat, just like this. If you get the key first, then the guards will no longer be in the apartment. And then when you get back to the boat, you'll find that everything's been confiscated, and they've gone back to the apartment. So you can either go apartment, key, then boat, like I did, or you can go key, boat, and then apartment, and that's where the audiograph will be in the apartment. But if you do it in that order, then you'll find the guards have killed these poor guys who are working on the boat here. It doesn't really affect you negatively in any way. I just, they seem like decent, hardworking guys, so I like to let them live. So that's why I take out the guards first, but you can do it however you want. Now that you've got the passcode, head back to the back door of the black market shop. And when you try to open the door, you'll give the passcode, and the shopkeep will let you in without even bothering to uh, check who's there. In fact, he won't even touch the door, he opens it telekinetically. Surprisingly, after all that, there's not a ton to pick up in this particular shop. There are a few things, and you can get the Disable Carriage Rails mission item for free, if you like. Just one more thing about the shop in this mission before we move on. If you've robbed more than one other black market shop previous to this, then the Howler Gang is going to set up an ambush for you at this shop. But I'm going to show you how you can get the drop on them. Um, starting from uh, the front of the Winslow Safe building, you want to head this way into the next building over. Head up the stairs to the top floor and uh, out this window. You can see a couple of the gang members waiting for you there. There's... Uh, five in total I believe so you got two on this balcony here there's one on the second floor of the building across the street then there's another one hiding 
just below where that last guy was. Down in there. And the fifth gang member is actually just inside the door to the shop. You can grab some Howler dust if you like. Give him a nice little surprise. Now, because he's uh, witnessed some violence, the, the shopkeeper's going to close up shop for his own protection. But there's nothing to worry about. He's going to open up again after a few seconds. So, and then you can shop as normal with a dead body on the floor. Business as usual. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.